Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will continue our endodontic series by discussing the steps that follow access of, which are a guide path, walking link, negotiation, instrumentation. And later on, we will discuss in another video different alteration techniques to make the series as comprehensive as possible. Okay, let's start with what we mean by negotiation. Negotiation is simply feeling the canal, exploring it and discovering if it is tight, wide, blocked and others. We will start our procedure by irrigating the canal. Note that the orifice has been flared initially with an orifice opener. We will use a small pre-curved hand file in a watch winding motion. In this case the canal is wide and straight and there isn't much to negotiate. We now will irrigate the canal one more time and our negotiation will be finished. Ok now let's discuss the work length step. First of all, our work length should be obtained using an epixocator from a respectable company, a well-known company, so that I can trust its reading. And my reading should be stable. What do we mean by stable reading? It means that when I introduce the file into the kennel, the reading will gradually increase, not abruptly. And also when I withdraw the file from the kennel, the reading will decrease gradually. Also, I should be able to confirm patency of the canal with the epixocator. If I obtain such reading, I will use a file, a stable file, that has some degree of engagement in the canal and take a PA radiograph to confirm the working. In case the epixocator did not give any reading in a canal, I will use the radiographical method which say my, that my work length should be half to one millimeter shorter than the radiographical apex. So when you are using a radiographical method, never take your work length with the radiographical end, always half to one millimeter shorter than the radiographical apex. Now, after we obtained our work length, we will measure the irrigating needle 2 to 3 mm shorter than the work length. This is to avoid a very important iatrogenic endodontic event, which is sodium hypochloride accident. So, the irrigation needle is measured in this case at 19 mm because our work length is 21. It is important to irrigate the canal drop by drop and not to force the hypochlorite solution inside the canal. Since K file 8 is loose in the canal, we will move to the next size which is K file 10. We always measure our files to match the working length and always pre-care the ISO stainless steel files. During light path step, our motion is always watch winding. We will proceed gradually in the canal until we reach the desired working length. Now we will move to the next size which is K file 15 and perform the same steps used with K file 10.
Now to the K file 20 with the same steps. When we finish size 20 K file, the nego negotiation step will be finished also. Irrigating the canal during negotiation is very important and the frequency will depend on the nature of the canal. In this demonstration we will use the gold pro taper system. The SX file used initially so we will start with the S1 file. When the S1 file reaches the desired working length, we will move to the S2 file which is the second shaper file in the Protever Gold system. And repeat the same steps. It is important to recapitulate the canal to avoid losing its patency by using a small K file and passing it 0.5 mm beyond the working length. Now we will start with our first finisher file in the Protoper Gold system, which is the F1 file. The apical gauging step aims to measure the size of the apex by using a K file that corresponds with its tip to the tip of the file used to finish the canal. 
By this, we will make sure that our finisher file has prepared the apical portion of the canal and we will reduce the chance that our cone or sealer passing the apex. In case of the protepper system, we have five finishers from F1 to F5. The tip of these finishers correspond with the ISO K files 20, 25, 30, 40, and 50. So after we finish each finisher, we will gauge the kernel with the K-file of the same tip size. We insert the K-file of the same tip size passively into the kernel, then we push the file from the handle gently. If the file passes the work length, we will enlarge the kernel to the next size. And now we will de demonstrate the gauging step. So we are going to use K20 file for apical gauging after finishing preparation with the F1 file. We will measure the file to our work length which is 21 mm. Now we will insert the file passively into the kernel until it reaches the full work length. Then we are going to push the file gently from the handle toward apical direction. We can see that the file is passing the reference point, so we have to enlarge the kernel apically. Now we will start with the second finisher file, which is F2, and follow the same steps. Measure the file to our working length, which is 21 mm. Apical gauging with size 25k file now After finishing the preparation with the F2 file We also measure the file to our working length And use the same steps Insert the file passively into the kernel And push it gently from the handle Since size 25k file passed the work length during apical gauging, we will move to the third finisher file which is F3 file and follow the same steps. Irrigate the kennel and after irrigating the kennel we will recapitulate the kennel. And continue our preparation. Now we will gauge the canal with size 30k file. Following the same steps. Size 30k file passing working length, so we will move to the fourth finisher file, which is a four.
Now we will gauge the canal with size 40k file, following the same steps. We insert the file passively into the canal and push it gently from the handle. You can see that the size 40k file didn't pass the working length. So this is our apical size and the master apical file is a 4.